What's up, Cheese Squad? Today we're playing some more Detroit Become Human. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video. I wonder if you made the right choices last time. Let's see what you'll do today. Okay. Remember. You decide the fate of your characters. All of them can die. So, be careful. We are continuing. The controller vibrated. That was scary. Both ways before crossing. Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, you won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. <laughs> Sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nose and apology program. Is it Cyberlife thought everything, huh? Here you go. a lot of calories. Ah, thanks Gary, I'm starving. I'll leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. See? This Pedro? He was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. Okay. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, 
Why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. I, and I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? <laughs> Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Ooh. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. You ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you Problem. received several disciplinary warnings in recent years and... You spend a lot of time in bars. <laughs> so what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. Did he just wink? He just, I just winked. Got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Batteries or what? I'm sorry. <laughs> I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh, well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but. The neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to invest... ...investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Correct. Hmm. Anybody home? Open up! Detroit Police! Stay behind me. Got it. Okay. Pigeons. Ugh. It's pigeons, Hank. Jesus, this place stinks. Well, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. Military jacket. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. It 
Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. A lot of writing. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. I forgot I had to keep pressing the run thing. It's a bit scary. Oh,
We're saving Hank. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! We had it! Fuck! It's my fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's He's right. my friend now, yay! We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Hey, Gunner. Nothing. Oh, come on, you can say thank you. Simon. North. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jera. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. Hiding just to stay alive. That's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. I came to Jericho looking for hope. Looks like I'm not gonna find any here. You're lost, just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. It's only because I chose All lost. <laughs> You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. That's depressing. Are you Lucy? Sit down. Show me. Okay. Ooh. 
I'll stop the bleeding. Drink this. Give me your hand. You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. That's deep. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. What was your function before coming here? What do you care? Who? Oh. Guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. For a second I thought it said stare at fire. I was like, what fire? But it said start. I'm even wearing my glasses. Simon, I know we can find spare parts. Cyberlife Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Okay. I'm in. Well, that was a short episode. But I think that's going to be it. So... Um... 
don't forget the question of the day is do you like cheese? I'll see you guys in the next video.